Are you ready for Chalk Talk tonight? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm okay. ready. I think it's, it's, it's an uplifting one. I'm excited to see it. It is. You yeah. know, it's so far this year in Chalk Talk, we've been kind of serious. I mean, we've been yeah. really Xing and owing it, and, uh, and you know, it's, it's been insightful. But we, we thought we'd lighten it up a little bit this week. And everybody who watches the show knows that there's an ongoing smoothie war between Kaylee and, and Evinger. And, and really, at this point, Charlie's up like 337 smoothies. Well, yeah, he knows, but just Rocky hasn't been on for, for Calipas around the net. He just really hasn't been uh, that much. And can you say that word? Can you think he can, you know? The, the what, is it, what is it again? <laughs> oh, you're throwing that no, at, at me again. <laughs> on a Fecalibus, Rocky just has to be more, more hungry, as the French Canadians say, around the net. On a Fecalibus, that's yeah. a hockey term. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All means, right, yeah. well, uh, <laughs> we're going to see if Shraki can be on a in this edition of Chalk Talk. Yeah. This week on Chalk Talk, oh, it's definitely not what the show's called. This week on Chalk Talk, um, <laughs> We're uh, we're still on the food on the on the smoothie uh, fight here. Um, Effie's definitely up uh, one smoothie to nothing, and uh, as a lot of people know or may not know, Risky and Shraki are brothers, and um, you know they just they do everything together, and it's hard for them to uh, go against each other. So with uh, Shraki having his uh, difficulties around the goal area, and uh, Effie, you know everyone knows Effie how solid he's been. Um, you know, I just want to ask Risky. Do you think Shrocky's going to score on this opportunity? 100%. He's going to score. There you go, folks. Blood's thicker than water. Definitely is. Look at that. It is what possible for Kaylee to score. Yeah, it is possible. And, you know, we, we've talked a little bit with Balboa. Just say, listen, you're not east and west. You're north and south. And you saw him just come in and just bury his head and rip it. And that's yeah. what he's got to do. Let's take another look at that because yeah. that was involved. There was yeah. like a kicking out. Now, you're the, you're the player and coach. Yeah. Can he pull something like this off in the game? I think, uh, I think it's illegal to score like that. Uh, oh, I, I in think the game. Because he's telling me that, uh, you, you know, he, got, he did it in a men's league or something. He's probably showing off and, <laughs> you know, wheeling down. So, I, I, I mean, this is coming from him. We should probably check. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to, to, to score that way. But it's, it's an unbelievable shot. When the cam was rolling, he came through. Yeah, he just goes down. <laughs> and like I said, bury his head and let her rip. 